Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and I'm bringing you Little Big Planet on the PS Vita. It literally just arrived about 20 minutes ago, so I wolfed some breakfast down and set up my camera. So let's get started. Not played any of it yet, so this is all going to be new to me on the camera. I've just downloaded um, the code and everything and done the update basically. I love Stephen Fry doing the voice, doing the narration. Just works so well. Mm, creepy lion puppet. <laughs> I don't like puppets. They're horrible. <laughs> Terms and conditions, blah blah blah. I've got a feeling that I'm going to enjoy this game so much more on the Vita than on the PS3. I'm weird like that, some games I prefer on a handheld to a console. In Little Big Planet, it's up to you to decide what's fashionable without fear of people pointing at you and laughing. In fact, the more funny looking you are, the better, really. Press the menu button to access your character icon. Drag the list up and down with your fingertip to browse this wardrobe of wonderment. Or for more carefree browsing, flick the page and press it again as soon as you want to stop. A deft flick across the page and you'll find yourself in an altogether new department. When you 
spot something that looks just right, simply tap it to wear it. Not right? Tap it again, and it's off and back on its hanger. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Well, that seems to be all I've got now, pretty so, much. you've settled on a look then, have you? Finally. Once you feel ready to step out and meet your adoring public, just tap the back button to close the pocket. And then once more to close the menu altogether. What an eclectic mix of styles, colours and textures. It's... it's so you. Cool. In Little Big Planet, it is polite to express an interest in your fellow sack persons, or at least act as though you care. By using the directional buttons, you can display a whole range of emotions to show you're listening, even though you're thinking about what to have for tea. If it's good news, <laughs> Yeah, I don't really need to watch that. I know what I'm doing with that. Pretty much the same controls as the PS3 one so far. say this just looks amazing on the Vita. Just looks spot on. Exactly like the PS3 one. Graphically and everything. Can't wait to get into the levels and see what it's like. Sound in 
our world. <laughs> I was never really scared. Come, we have arrived at the Marionetta. I wonder who does the voice of that guy. I recognise it from somewhere but I can't put my finger well, on it. This is your pod. The starting point for all of your journeys in Little Big Planet. Think of it as your secret lair, if that helps. And that window in front of you is no ordinary window. This is your control window. Your very own time and space elevator stopping at all floors of the wonder plane. Whether you want to play games, find friends, host a party, or even build a world of your own, the control window is your gateway to all the wonders and fantastics Little Big Planet has to offer. There's plenty to do already, and more will be revealed in time. So stick about a while. Focus your energy to the tip of your finger and tap that strange orb-like thingamajig hanging right in the middle of your screen. Let's see what happens, shall we? <laughs> yeah, when um, basically the camera was panning then to the pod, it you know it wasn't supposed to be blurry on screen. It, it obviously it wasn't blurry, but for some reason my camera wasn't focusing very well, so. Yeah, it's not meant to do that, but there Good you go. Stories need a beginning. And the tale of Carnivalia begins right here. Colonel Flounder is one of the creators in Little Big Planet. You will meet many of these extraordinary characters on your travels, and they are all here to help you fulfill your heroic duties. Tap that big round button in front of you to start exploring the marionetta. Curious world of Colonel Flounder. Okay, let's do that then. This is a little big planet badge. It is used to indicate the special somewhere a creator has made. Think of it as a handy map marker. Simply tap a badge to select it. Tap it once more to jump in and explore, or touch and hold your finger on the badge for more information. Let's get going then. I know that on the Vita version, um, you use the back touch to push things from the back. Um, I'm currently filming on a stand, so I might have to remove this off the stand if I do have to do something like that, just to warn you. I 
Do I not have any stickers yet? Don't think so. Sometimes you'll get stuck in Little Big Planet, but fear not, young sackling, for all is not lost. Open your puppet by pressing the menu button and find the Try Again icon. Now press and hold your finger on it and keep holding until you go pop. And then magically reappear from the last activated checkpoint. No, that bubble's going to be mine. Now I've activated the stickers. again.
travels, and they have quite a distinct appearance too, so you'll know them when you see them. Using the miracle of touch, you can reach in and rearrange the world to your liking. Simply touch the thing that you want to move. Hmm. Drag it to a place of your liking. And drop. Simple enough. Sweet, is that a new dress? Oh no, sticker. Thought it might have been a new dress then. Sweet. Oh, sugar. I've done that wrong, haven't I? How do I rotate? There we go. How do I get them up there then? Oh, right, okay. Oh, no. I can't get back up now. Oh, well, I'll have to do this level again at some point then. The world of technology never fails to flabber my gas. <laughs> this uber duper cool thing lets you take photos of anything using your camera and place it right into Little Big Planet. Open your pocket by pressing the menu button. Then tap the stickers and decorations icon and find the take a photo icon. That's it. Well, I'm just going to have to take a picture of the floor. Then press the R button when you're ready to take a snap. You got it! Your picture anywhere in your scene. Select the most peerless pick. And ta da! Just perfect for adding that personal touch to your creation. Well, that's going to cause lots of trouble, isn't it? Snap happy right away. I can only imagine what some disgusting perverted people will take photos of and put into this game. Yeah, this time I've got the hang of it, haven't I? Oh, oh I just killed myself! <laughs> oh. Squished myself. How am I going to do this then? Just lift it up and... There we go. Just got to be careful. Oh, that was fun. Well, I never. I, I, I'm totally speechless. Well, not totally. You've got all the makings of a little big planeting legend. If you
you want to improve your performance in any level, you can revisit the same place again. Or, if you're thirsty for new challenges, you can tap on this new badge. The choice, as ever, is yours, and all by the miracle of touch. Okay guys, I'm going to stop this video here. You've been watching Gadget Girl Kylie, and this has been um, the introduction and the first level of Little Big Planet. I'll put the levels title in the um, title of the video. I'm probably going to do more gameplay videos. I might even turn this into a let's play. I haven't decided yet, but I'll probably just do each level at a time. And then obviously I'm going to do online levels and uh, gameplay too. So stay tuned for my um, to my channel for those videos and I hope you've enjoyed it. You've been watching Gadget Girl Kylie. Bye.